Lawmakers in the Senate's chamber seated and ready for the main business of the day, which is the screening of Honorable Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed for confirmation as Chief Justice of Nigeria. But before he's admitted into the chamber, the Senate dissolves into the Committee of the Whole and goes into a closed-door session. About 15 minutes later, when the doors are opened, Justice Tanko Mohammed is ushered in, accompanied by Supreme Court justices, former senators, and the senior special assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on National Assembly matters, Ita Enang. Justice Muhammad is ushered to his stand, and the questions, suggestions, and commendations begin. The country is in very serious trouble, and we all know, and we see the court as the institution that will help us to be able to navigate out of the difficulties we are in today. I want to hear your views on how going forward, what assurances you give to us that the laws that we passed here will be interpreted based on our own intentment. In responding, Justice yeah. Tanko Mohammed charges the lawmakers on stronger legislation that will tackle corruption and insecurity. If need be, we take a holistic look at our criminal laws. Let us amend them. It is the responsibility of the legislature to see that it sanitizes the society. He calls for financial autonomy of the legislature to avoid exposing the judiciary to corruption. What is keeping the judiciary aback is the lack of autonomy, especially the financial autonomy. We are not asking for anything more than what is provided for us in the budget. We must ensure that uh, the judiciary is also properly remunerated. If we are asking our judges to be above board, we should also play our part. Satisfied with the process, the Senate proceeds with the confirmation. Will the Senate approve the confirmation of the nomination of Honorable Justice Ibrahim Tonko Muhammad for appointment as the Chief Justice of Nigeria? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay, the eyes have it. Tanko Mohammed's confirmation comes almost six months after he was first appointed by President Muhammad Buhari as the Chief Justice of Nigeria in acting capacity. Some of the tasks ahead of him would be to ensure a reduction in congestion of cases in court. He would also need to protect the laws of the country and that of the independence of the judiciary as one of the three arms of government. Terry Ikumi. Channels Television News.